getting Home Assistant to send through notifications to your mobile devices can be a fantastic thing to achieve, but sometimes you just want a little bit more. So in this video, I'm gonna go through five blueprints that really do kind of like up your game in what you can actually get from notifications. everyone and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek. So standard notifications from Home Assistant are pretty basic to be honest. Um, you know what I'm going to go through today are five uh, blueprints that really kind of like up your game in terms of the notifications that you can get. Uh, if you don't know what blueprints are there's a link up above uh, that takes you to a short playlist about uh, some other blueprints that I've gone through and you know where you can get them and uh, you know how to install them. Uh, but these ones today, these are all uh, around notifications and they're going to cover uh, things like security cameras. There's going to be things about uh, offline devices, uh, appliances and stuff like that. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to jump right into the first one. So if you want to try out any of these blueprints yourself on your own home assistant installation, I have put links to these down below in the description. Um, but first up, uh, you know, this is one for uh, Android users, really. Um, you know, there is no iOS option here, but this is actionable notifications for Android and this by uh, somebody called Vorian. Uh, that's what they go by on the Home Assistant uh, forums. And, you know, the clues in the name of this one, really. So, um, you know, the standard notifications, they, they just look like the kind of uh, the pop-ups that you get for uh, text messages and you can't really do much else uh, with them. Um, so this kind of takes it one step further. So if you've ever wanted to get a notification and then be able to do something uh, with, a, with a, an, an option from that notification, then this is the blueprint that will allow you to do that. So, um, you know, quite straightforward to go and install. Not a huge amount of options for it, uh, you know, which keeps it nice and straightforward. But basically, uh, you know, you can, um, you know, set it up so that, uh, you know, maybe you want to go and uh, lock the door if you leave the house. So, you know, maybe you've got, um, you know, sensors on your door or, uh, you know, and you've got a smart lock or maybe you've got, um, you know, security cameras. So, um, basically, you can you know set up what device you want to notify. Um, so obviously, most of the time it's going to be your mobile phone. Uh, you know you can give it a title and a message. You know fairly standard stuff, um, and then you can add uh, prompts uh, that are going to appear in that notification and what those actions are going to be. Um, so you know, as I say, if you want to you know lock the door, then you may well want to go and action that it calls the uh, the lock door uh, function on your your smart lock. So um, you know, really quite straightforward uh, to go and do that. You can have it do multiple actions as well. Uh, obviously, you can set up a, a kind of like a dismiss option. And um, the interesting thing about this one is that. Uh, this, when you've configured this, this doesn't kind of like fall into your normal uh, automations. This actually ends up in your scripts. So kind of caught me out first when I uh, tried this one out, uh, looking for it. Um, and normally, you know, with blueprints, you go and find it in your automations, but this one's in your scripts. Okay, so the next blueprint I have is uh, Appliance Notifications and Actions by Blackie. Now, if you've been uh, watching any of the previous videos that I've done on blueprints on the channel, then you'll probably have recognized that name. Blackie, uh, as a user, seems to be quite the creator of blueprints. There's an awful lot uh, that uh, that person's gone and created, and um, they are really good blueprints, uh, you know, lots of options and configurability within them you know to, to get really good automations out of them so this one um you know this is uh, i think this one's an interesting one because i've seen on on you know various forums you know people struggle uh to um you know when they're setting up automations for their appliances you know especially things like washing machines or dishwashers something like that to kind of um you know with a using a power uh, you know, a smart plug to get to understand when it's going to finish the cycles, you know, when it when is it actually genuinely finished doing what it needs to do. And that's what this automation um, blueprint 
uh, sets out to achieve. So you know you can um, you know set up uh, you know the configuration for the, the power cycles. Um, you can have it then send your notifications. You can have it set uh, you know your lighting uh, for notifications as well. So you know if you're somebody who likes to have uh, you know green LED strips in your kitchen when your dishwasher is done, uh, then this is probably the blueprint for you to go and install. Um, I'm just getting playing with this one um, because I do use smart plugs and um, you know I, I want to set that up on some of my appliances. Um, but again, looks like another great blueprint from Blackie. Okay, so the next blueprint I have for you is uh, one if you've got uh, Zigbee devices and in particular if you're using Zigbee to MQTT. Uh, I don't think this is going to work on ZHA unfortunately, but this is by a user called Mr. Grok. Um, this, I'm actually running with this one at the moment. I've been uh, playing around with this one uh, for a while. And um, basically, if you've got those, those Zigbee devices that you know, keep dropping off your network, then um, this is probably the blueprint for you to go and use. Now, um, it's a bit of a funny one, this one. This one didn't work straight away. And you know, when you go through the actual forum of uh, all the posts for it, you actually see that um, you know, various things have kind of, uh, you know, changed over time. So, um, you know, by default with, um, you know, Zigbee and Home Assistant nowadays, Zigbee MQTT, the last seen value is no longer enabled by default. Uh, so you need to enable that for this to be able to work. Uh, now, what you can do is you can go and um, either do that on a device by device basis, which if you've got, uh, you know, 50, 100 odd devices, it is going to take you a long time to go and do. Or as um, you actually see in the forum posts, you can actually go and enable it for all devices in your configuration file for uh, Zigbee to MQTT. Um, and then you just restart everything and it will become available. So that's what I did. Um, and, uh, you know, sure enough, it, it does actually be something that the uh, Blueprint can pick up. And um, yeah, it works great. You know, you can configure your uh, you know the details that you want and it sends out a notification um, you know whether you want that uh, you know uh, daily or you know whether you want it weekly uh, you know what time you want it sent out um, you know you can have it uh, you know include or exclude uh, sensors and devices you know for your notifications um, but it just lists out everything that you've got that's offline and is great for being able to find out about those things that have just kind of like suddenly dropped off the network overnight and uh, you can go and add them back on. Okay, so the next blueprint I've got is for those of you that got security cameras or security doorbells. And um, this one is uh, send camera snapshot notification on motion. Uh, really going for a nice short name there. Um, this one's by Vorian. Uh, so this is the second uh, blueprint on this video by this user and it's a really straightforward simple uh, blueprint blueprint to go and set up um, what this one offers you basically is to be able to use uh, a separate motion sensor to trigger sending a image in a notification from another device so an another camera um, so you know most of the time your notification images are coming through from uh, the uh, you know, security camera app itself. And if you've got different cameras, you've probably got different apps for that. So A, this centralizes it all in Home Assistant. Um, but B, what it enables you to do is, you know, um, maybe you've got uh, a, you know, a smart doorbell that's not got great uh, video quality, uh, but it does have the motion sensor on it. So you can use the motion sensor in that. And if you've got a nice 2K or 4K camera, uh, stuck somewhere um, in the, you know, looking at the, the same kind of area, then you can have an image get sent from that uh, as part of the notification. So um, as I say, you know, really quite straightforward to, to go and configure and set up, um, but obviously, you know, gives you that extra benefit that you, you know, you've got it all centralized within Home Assistant as well. 
So just as a bonus blueprint, uh, you know, for security cameras and notifications, if you're somebody who uses Frigate uh, for your, you know, person detection, whatnot, cars, all that kind of stuff, then this is probably the one for you. This is a lot more configurable. So this is Frigate mobile app notification by a user called Sergeant Banton. And um, this, this, it, this has got a huge amount of configurability, all your um, kind of like your, your zones and objects and stuff like that. I don't use Frigate, so um, you know this is um, one which you know I've not been able to set up. But uh, you know, if you actually use this already, you know, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Uh, you know, what you think about this uh, this blueprint? You know, it does look very very good. Um, you know, you've got all your different notifications. You've got um, you know notifications have it come up on your television if you've got an Android. Uh, TV or Fire TV, so lots and lots of uh, features and functionality there um, that obviously go way beyond uh, you know something that's just sending a, a simple notification. So that is one that if you're using Frigate, probably want to go and check out. Okay, so my final blueprint for this video is from a user called Panhands, and this is uh, zone notification. Uh, extended and um, yeah this kind of you know is almost like the Swiss Army knife of uh, notifications for those of you that are using zones uh, so you know you can have multiple zones multiple users lots of custom actions scenes um, you know have it you know URLs for shopping lists if you get to you know maybe you've got a zone around the supermarket something like that um, you know, you've got things like vibration uh, you know, on your notifications, all those kinds of things. So super, super configurable. Um, you know, I only use a couple of zones at the moment in uh, Home Assistant. So, um, you know, really going to explore what I can actually uh, configure and get set up on this. Um, you know, if you're using this one, then, you know, drop some comments down below as to what you've actually got configured uh, already and how you're using it. But looks quite an interesting uh, blueprint uh, you know if you're using zones to that extent so there you go those are my blueprints for notifications in home assistant uh, you know which was your favorite uh, you know drop your thoughts down below in the comments really interested to uh, hear your feedback you know have you got some of these already installed are you trying them out already um, you know have you got one on that list there that you're going to try out drop it all down below in the comments um, you know, if you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. But as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.